can see it drop. Um. And then 75 more treats. Oh, she doesn't deserve any treats. I mean, hey everyone, it's Rockman and Ratmus and Sadie. How's everybody doing? Everyone dead? Sadie's the dead. No one's gonna get that reference. Hey, Romimi. Whoa. Romimi's pissed that we're 20 minutes late. Oh, so she wants nutrients. Okay. All right, so I'm going to give Ratmus the honor of uh, starting this uh, wonderful fucking game that I've totally uh, stayed away from. <clears throat> um, of course, no spoilers on story or anything, but we do totally allow backseating about like how to do things, you know, techniques that we don't know about, you know, once we get into it. <clears throat> It's only like a 3D Zelda win, right? Sure. To be caves and other stuff to bomb. Why, why is the text like so freaking small that you need a microscope to see it? Hello, Red Yoshi. Um, How are you doing? What's going on here? I don't know why the sound is so quiet. Let me turn it up some more your eyes. My neck really hurts. That's all I'm doing. Maybe he says it's a perfect emo for you, Ratmus, the Batman with the rat. The rat man. So Ratmus, Ratmus is playing, really can't hear, like this, this is max volume right here. Open your eyes. Maybe it was like intentionally drowned out, I don't know. I don't know. Wake up, Link. Voice acting. Wake up, Link. Where are your nipples? If you were going, oh you'd have Oh my god, he has no nipples. Why is he in a send depth tank? Is he tripping balls or something? <laughs> That'd be great if people did that for a high. I don't think you'll get high, though. Like, you can't hallucinate. I, I just don't. Well, yeah, I mean, spoilers for Stranger Things. I mean, that's. Um, like. The, like, these evil government people were trying to, like. I, I think they were trying to use. Like, they were trying to gain psychic powers, and one of the things they. so that they could spy on the Russians like a boss because it was, like, 1980. But, like, one of the. they tried putting, like, psychic people in sensory deprivation tanks like that. So that they could like their mind could go other places and spy on the Russians. That was the idea. Just trying anyways, to the sentinels. Anyways, Link is just starting out wearing fucking underwear, totally shirtless with no nipples. So this is complete fan service. I mean, we ain't nothing but mammals. And hello, song. Hello. Uh, well, that I already said hi to Mimi and Red Yoshi. Me. It's a Sheikah it. slate. It will help guide you. It's a Sheikah iPad. It's it's the i Sheikah. It's the iChic 11 XR. You're gonna love it. It's slightly better than that iChic 11 XL, and yet it costs three thousand dollars more. You've never seen this device before, yet somehow you know how to use it. Yes, because you're one of the kids these days. Because you're a fucking millennial. Freaking boomer that can do shit. <sighs> you know, already we've pissed everyone in chat off. And it's only been five minutes. Oh my god, a stamina bar. No! Cha 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 cha. <laughs> Wait. What is it? Okay, hold on. Okay, oh, let's just examine this HUD for a second. Okay, so there's three tiny ass hearts in the upper left. Then there's the stamina bar when you start running. Then in the lower right, it looks like there's a temperature gauge in Fahrenheit. So they don't use the Celsius in high roll. And then what is that, a voice meter? Maybe. It's. it's it's a sound meter, like 
the more sound is going on, the more that meter goes. What like why is that necessary? Like is that gonna is that gonna become clear to me later why this is necessary? Is this the you know wipe your butt? <laughs> 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 it looks like he was trying to whip out the tablet, but he failed. <sighs> Good, I got a shirt. We need to read some of these things. It said something like an old shirt made long ago. So, you know, it once belonged to the legendary hero, right? Yes. But he washed it a little too many times and it got faded. Just like your wonderful white sock shirt. <sighs> Why would you want to wear someone else's well-worn trousers? They're a little tight in the crotch, though! Well, tighten the crotch. Yes. Oh, okay. So, so like if if there's stealth sections that will tell you if you're making too much noise, I guess. Some of the you know snake link. I'm I'm sure. They, oh man, like Doom would Is probably it? hate this. Oh, snake up to the pedestal. Okay, that makes sense. So like if it's ah, really hot, then you need to put you on your Goron tunic, right? Did you like take off your clothes if it's hot? You know. I mean, Ramimi wants you know Link to just take off his clothes again. I'm sure. It's eighty. You have to kill a person to get through there because it's uh, you know teardrop. I mean, how old is this Link? You know, he could be three hundred years old. He was sleeping in the tank for three thousand years, for all I know. Link. Please stir up the sun. The light. Wait, did we even get a chance to name this thing? No. It must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. Get out of here. Walk. Uh, I'm getting my you know, lovely boots all uh, messy. You don't name this link, what the hell? How is that even legal? Control this, everybody. You're totally control this? Gee, I wonder if that's Death Mountain over there. It's a different mountain. It's called, you know, Brent Mountain. The Legend of Zelda, Brent of the Mountain. Breath of the B-dubs. We should have got B-dubs. Cover one pair because he hates them. What if it was Mount Kodum? Whoa. Who the hell is that person? Probably Impa Z in the temple of whatever. Impa G. The Great Plateau. It's a weird question mark. What's his, with his weird motions? Tree branch. Surprisingly well balanced, is it really? No. Fan the flames of war, everybody. Right, it's a cool 60 degrees Fahrenheit, so you're good. Oh, yeah. Don't, you know, don't you, don't you know that crouching increases your stealth? Oh, God, no, my precious tree branch. What the fuck is this? The Hylian Shroom. I thought I was already on Hylian Shrooms. Press that button to put it right in your pants. Oh, wow. Make a noise. Don't make a noise, you're ruining your stealth. And you're ruining everything, Rappus. What are you doing? Yeah! You broke your tree branch literally in disgust. It's okay, I got more. It's like a Deku stick, only not. See, I, I wanted you to slide down that incline like Apex Legends. <sighs> Peaches, they're probably poisonous. <laughs> Definitely jump and say apple. Just kidding. <sighs> I'm sure it's somewhere, Ramimi. Are you a wizard? <laughs> Easy there! Oh shit, my uh Oh I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. 
<laughs> oh ho ho. I'm just I'm just fucking with you. That that the shit's poisonous. You can have it. Go into houses, break pots. I mean, it's a hero, right? <laughs> oh, who are you? I hit the wrong. Where are you rushing off to? I mean, remind me if I scroll over the video, I see the settings, clip, theater mode, full screen, and picture in picture. Now, who the fuck is Skyping me? So great about this plateau. <sighs> Rumimi wants you to read some Batman fanfics. Oh. <sighs> you mean read them out loud, right? On stream? Not like to himself at home? Do the fanfics have the phrase sensual bat nipples? Sensual bat shower? <sighs> Food restores your health, yeah. <laughs> Go down, it's dangerous to go alone, bitch. He's good. Okay, so what did he actually give you, if anything? It's good to check out this heaven plateau. It has Red Hood calling Batman a stupid fucking old man. So I'm like, I, I, I had never heard of Red Hood. Head for the point, Mark. The, on, the only time I ever see. seen or heard of Red Hood was on Gotham, and like that that villain, that character, like was very brief and not like any good, right? Yeah. So we got an objective. This is just so, like, not Zelda -y. Start out getting the sword first, damn it. Just, uh... just, like, electronic tablets and shit, and Fahrenheit meters. Shut this effort down. And then if somebody asks, lie about it. Ask you if you cut down that tree, just lie and say you didn't. You got blue choo choo jelly, that's totally rare, right? Doing a log roll. Oh shit. This guy wants a piece. I need your amiibo, son. Yeah, we should be using amiibos, right? you have to get through the tutorial area first then you can but I don't know if you're gonna you know do it with my axe the ultimate Hyrulean herb maybe sent me a clip of Red Hood I'll have to watch that later I have an erection It, it, oh, the data has been damaged. I, I thought it said the Sheikah slate was damaged, and I was like, what the fuck? I thought I would still have that, like, thing I wanted to do on here in my, like... Uh, oh, it's 64 degrees Fahrenheit, it says. Uh, the objective? Yeah. Where's the objective song? Miiverse stamps? 
so many effing stamps. Punch that boulder. Oh, did you go in the temple? No, I didn't. We, we did see a, we did see a temple, and we talked to the old man. Okay, so I guess you gotta go to the temple. <laughs> I mean, I can definitely see why Song would love this game because this is the kind of thing that she loves is just wandering around doing random shit. It'd be great if it fell on, fell on those guys and murdered them. I oh, don't want a piece, he wants the whole thing. At least they don't do much damage. Like, like, Whoa, holy shit! Sound like Donkey Kong. Don't you understand the danger we're in? He's good. Now he's throwing his poop at you. All the rocks and shit. You're gonna die, bitch. I like this axe. Too bad it's gonna break any second. Now eat his meat. I thought it said sacred steak. That was some seared steak. How much does the steak heal? Is that one and a half, maybe? Yeah, I think I so. Save that. <sighs> Apparently, this is Minecraft now. It's unusable in this state, but applying a lot of elemental stimulation. You can just walk right into the fire. <laughs> okay. Uh... <sighs> yeah, that, that, that should have increased your temperature. DLC. Stay at 100% health and there are no fatal kill hits. You will be taken down to one quarter heart. And while you're down, you can pause and eat back up to full. He's just holding out his hands like somebody's gonna put them in there. Who's putting them in there? They're relation like fake now, right? Uh, how, what? How did the how, how did the apple turn into a red chew jelly? No, I guess I dropped that one I had before. Uh -huh. Did that cook it? The song says drop it next to the fire. That's what you did. Did it cook it? I guess so. And it doesn't seem like it cooked it. Um, that's a diff. I had two of them. See, uh, let's... Oh, there's a red shoe. Oh, constantly gives off heat. More than sixty-four degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> the apple will become baked in the description. So if I... So... I don't think it baked. Try putting just one apple down by the fire. Okay, like... You see how it says apple? Like yeah. it, it will say baked apple when it becomes baked. And I don't know. Like it would think it would need to be closer to the fire than that. Is the one closest to the fire getting cooked? I don't know. Might be. It's a. Uh... You'd think it would be easier to cook things in a pot. So Song says maybe you should just wait for a pot. Right, well, 
go up into that. Uh, no. I enjoy cooking. Um, I made a chicken dumpling soup like two days ago. That was, you know, interesting experience because I've never made that before. Did you make the dumplings from scratch? Well, I kind of. I mean, what you basically do is you take, like, it was flour, a few, like, herbs and stuff, Parmesan cheese and whole milk, like, mix it into a dough and then just kind of drop it into the soup and then it cooks it that way and then it turns into, like, the dumplings. <sighs> I bet someone would hate that. The Temple of Time? Holy shit! Yes. Are we going to be doing some time travel? In the DeLorean? My ex. So, bitch. With my ex. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. The song says that if you see something shiny, pick it up. Enemy weapons, whatever stuff. Pots. Pots. <laughs> I'm just throwing them in disgust. I thought I hit the. About a rock song cooking stream. Oh, well, it's the goddess, right? And her little goddess children. Wait, those are the things from Doctor Who. Oh God. Oh God. What are those called? I'm sure Ramimi knows. Well, I know Song knows because we played Lego Dimensions. There was a chest in the front alcove, song says. Weeping angels, okay. I found an egg, like, I like egg drop soup, so I'm like, I wonder what the recipe is. There's I'm, something shiny. Because I'm sure it's, like, easy. It is pretty easy to make. I mean, don't you just drop some eggs into the soup, and then it's egg drop soup? I mean, that's how it's, the, like, the egg is cooked this, in there. This is a heart piece, right? With the hero of legend left here, right? Whoa! The the traveler's bow. <clears throat> Will I get your bow? I, I, I don't remember, if, Ramimi, if you ever watched Smallville, but at one point on Smallville, um, like, Clark Kent was prophesized, like, there was this Native American tribe who, tribe who called him the Traveler because he, you know, he traveled to Earth from another planet. So, like, at, at one point, one, one, one of the things he was called, referred to, was the Traveler. And they played some basketball. Well, that's a great uh, amiibo thing. <laughs> Wait, that amiibo thing that Song has that I totally don't know what the hell it is? Yes. Some, you know, Deku, <laughs> like, rate machine or something. Actually, I, I guess the follow up question did you ever watch Arrow? I'm sure you saw part of it, but. Um, the last episode of Arrow was on two days ago, and and Ratmus and I have not watched it yet. We're gonna after this stream, we're gonna what? We're gonna eat dinner and watch the last episode of Arrow. So is that the thing to do in the temple, or what else can we do in the temple? Song says, "Don't waste your arrows." Um, well, did you? I don't know. I mean, there's got to be some stuff to do. Did you check the goddess statue? Well, I checked it. I break some of the smaller ones. Did that piss off the goddess? <laughs> You're going to break your axe, which is going to piss me off. Go to the window. Um. Oh, Sung Sun says you need to go to a cave. Um, Ramimi, what about the guy who plays the Green Arrow? What is Stephen Amell, whatever his name is, do you think he's hot? What about his cousin? Nobody cares about his cousin. <laughs> so, um, there's this cave. Oh. Who is his cousin? The guy who, you know, played Ronnie. Like, in the first season of Flash, there was Ronnie Raymond, what was his name? Yeah. Robbie? Is that his name in real life? Robbie Amell? That sounds like it. I don't know. I, I thought it was his cousin. 
Anyways, song. Okay. Highly suggest not wasting arrows. Going to a cave. Yeah, we read that. Uh, oh, if this isn't the objective, move. Move Link's arrow toward the objective and go straight. That's where, like, it came from, I believe. Wait, what happened to the objective thing? Scroll in. Okay. She says, you're too far out. The objective is near you. Scroll in more. I think this is zoomed in all the way. Yeah, that's out, so this is in. In, out, in, out, in, out. I thought I set the destination, apparently not, and it would be nice if the damn thing would have been... Okay, I just go straight from where he's looking. Like, in the map screen, have that. The damn thing wasn't activated or whatever. <sighs> I need to find another axe. I think I have some. Cool, because the axe is cool. Or, no, I guess that's just the attack damage. I have the club. Robbie Amell has done a lot of things, actually, besides playing Ronnie. Uh, he is uh, the first cousin of Arrow actor Stephen Amell. Alright, I got a sword and a shield. He was in Cheaper by the Dozen, too. Wasn't Tom Welling also in that movie? Yes. Ramimi says he was in the Duff. Ratmus, you love that movie, right? Yes, I do. <sighs> Ramimi loves that movie, too. Because <sighs> he, he loved the monster voice. <laughs> it says he was also in the of the tenth season of X-Files. That was one of the reboot seasons. Oh, wow. I don't remember that. One episode of How I Met Your Mother is Scooby. Song says pick up arrows. <laughs> We activated the teardrop. Christmas. This arrows despawned, I guess. I'm sorry. Whoa. Squirrel. Hey, out. <laughs> Bigger than Skyward Sword. That's how the goddess is like, you know, come on, I'm bigger. Some says when you kill something, make sure to get the damn drops. Okay. Can I just use the, you know, Virtue Amiibo and get some stuff now? Whoa! Hi, Quack. Whoa. You sure got the bow quickly, unlike some other Zelda games. Yes. Distilling Just, local information. And, and distilling local vodka. Distilling local, you know, beer. Hey, Quack, how's it going? Like, I follow this one channel, it's, 
You know, this, uh, this guy that tries to like you know make things from scratch the various things that he made like an old fashioned wow. beer out of like dirt and mud and other like cheap brain <sighs> shit sounds, sounds lovely <sighs> it just upgraded your you know google maps with uh, eye drop technology which makes the you know maps worse Remember where there's smoke. Is that the castle? You have been asleep for the past 100 years. Yeah. Oh, so it wasn't a thousand. Oh. Okay, Let, let's say for the sake of argument that this, this voice you're hearing is Zelda. What if she's lying to you like GLaDOS? What if, what if it's only been a week? Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Oh. You must hurry, Link. Stop doing stupid side quests and Before fishing, damn it. It's too late. 117 years old is just too young for Mimi. Well, you gotta be 300 minimum. That time Nick Wolf, you know, got it on with that thousand year old woman. <laughs> I was gonna say yes before you even, you know, said Finish anything. The sentence, yes. Well, Nick Wolf, yes. I remember everything that Nick Wolf did. Do I have a wonderful hanging trip that will stop my drop damage? Or, you know, if I just jumped off there, would I fall to my death? I don't know. Is there fall damage? <laughs> I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> I guess we found out. Been a terrible fate. I meant to just like drop down, but I hit the wrong button. Sure, you did. I hit the explode button. Then you do it again. Want to do it again? Just if I hit, okay, I can. What's your stamina meter? Oh God! Yeah, like is there an easier way to get down from this stupid thing? What if I get down with my bad self? Is he gonna be in the next Bill and Ted movie? I hope. Shit! <laughs> For a second, I thought you died again. See, he's got a fucking sailcloth. I would attack him. You're an Edward Enigma. Uh, you know, how highly enforced awakens. Well, now you're schizophrenic. I have to kill you. This is exactly like the Force Awakens. Well, it's probably Zelda. It's probably GLaDOS. Hmm. Cal Calamity Ganon? It was the Calamity, you know, Jane of the frickin' uh, Gerudos. Gosh. should be reading this. For a century, it was a symbol of the kingdom. Uh, Fester's Quest. Uh, there's no time to waste. Now get to, you know, fishing and other bullshit. Mm. Well, whoa, whoa, nobody said I was courageous. I just did. <laughs> Tell me, courageous one, does this thing look like a lantern or, you know, my spittoon? Yeah, well, it's both. Whoa. No death could be more certain. So, we, you know, jump there, come on. Hand it over! <laughs> I'll give you some apples, some uncooked apples. I'll throw them at your face, old man. Main quest. Not to be confused with side quest. Hmm. Let me show you something. He's Jim Carrey now. Is that like
like just active. <laughs> Easy there, old pal. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, I don't see that orange marker. I'll follow him for the time being. be Comcast. So is this anything like Skyrim? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, so I just need to run over there and kill some shit. Behold that swag as I'm work. sure it'll be that easy. Whoa, frog. Uh, bad luck boots yet. Thought that candy was bad. You should see what he got in a monthly snack crate today. Whoa, oh god. For some swimming. Dash. Oh, swim like a Zora. It's 11.55 a.m. and 64 degrees Fahrenheit and, you know, the planet high roll. It's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. Be awesome if you could wear sunglasses in this game. Scampi and lemon flavored cereal snacks. What? What the hell kind of you know satanic snack crates are you ordering? The best kind. I can't catch a frog. You got to be sneaky and stealthy. Pick up those arrows. <sighs> You know, just like any other Zelda game, in order to enter a cave or dungeon, you have to scan your tablet. <sighs> Go That's it, air controls. How could they possibly be delicious? Graphics though. Graphics. Magnesium trial. Oh man, what should do? What fucking language is this? Also, what's with those constellation markings? I've seen those. Ooh. Is that vodka? You're distilling some local vodka once again? Not from the Matrix. The kids these days just love Sheikah tablets. Well, Magnesium well, magnets. How do they work? work? Yes. Grab onto metallic mm -hmm. objects. And I didn't read it because Ratma skipped it. Right, so, uh... Power of magnetism is like magic. Just kidding, it's science, you son of a bitch. Science. Alright, Song says now that you have scanned your tablet there, you can instantly transport there whenever you want. Okay. Ah, that seems like OP. Well, like Skyrim and stuff at fast travel. So basically it's all the Skyrim. Song says look for something metal, aka you know, Fee's face. Oh. Oh. That's a hell of a magnet that falls on your head and you die. Whoops. That could have killed me. Bacon flavored cereal snacks. That doesn't sound so bad. Pickled onion flavored maize snacks. Maize corn? It's the best kind of corn. Granny Ganny, you know, even thing. <sighs> what if Calamity Ganny, you know, just had some calamity on your internet connection? 
basically like Zelda combined with Skyrim and Portal right now. Can you shove it in the hole? Are you used to the step system? Irish cheddar and onion potato chips. Okay, that sounds actually pretty good. What we see? Shit's gonna explode. Ancient springs. You can use that on your ancient boner. So I'm guessing I can use that as a bridge, except like, why can't you just jump that? It's not that far. Whoops. What did I hit? Whatever you hit, don't do that. Metal plate just reminds me of some cheddar biscuit. <laughs> I wanted that to work like so like half acidly. Just uh like almost <laughs> they won't let you. It's like that should work, but they're like, no, do it right. Can you levitate yourself? tablet in it, I'm sure it'll do something. Oh, oh shit! Something. Mm -hmm. You've proven to possess the resolve of a true hero by moving blocks with magnets. <laughs> I am Oman Au, and I love magnets, which is why I created this shit. Also, I'm a mummy and a humble monk, blessed with the power of magnetism by the goddess. My destiny is now fulfilled, so I will now die. Oh wait, I'm already dead. Please bash my skull open. <laughs> Please bash my skull open. There's candy inside. Okay, monk dude. Please accept this orb and don't do sexual things with it. But again, bash my head open. <laughs> and please, for the love of God, put it in your tablet, not your chest. Right in the chest. I think I just got heartburn of courage. Apparently this was our first shrine, and how many shrines are there? 347? 346 to go. 120? And, and how many, what are those things where there's like 999 of them? Like bottles of beer in the wall? Deku nuts or something? Oh! 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 Son of a bitch, give me that thing. How'd you get high up enough? For that? How did you get high? Uh, you know, he cooked the magic mushrooms. How did you know? Whoa. Something similar to clairvoyance, but we won't say what. I heard somebody swearing about men <laughs> down below for like 20 minutes. Probably a juggalo. Did you bash open some monk's skull and get some candy? Here's my spittoon. <laughs> a paraglider, please? I haven't finished speaking, you little disrespectful little whelp. Look, I know you're Santa Claus. Just cough up that shit. <laughs> a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah created this shit of oh, Korok seeds. The drumstick squishies, Revels, Mukshava, Starmer, Sour Tutti Fruity. Great power of wisdom. Glucose barley. Yeah, it's like one or two of those sound good. Glucose bark sounds like a very bad uh, name for, you know, an outlaw. Glucose Bart sounds yeah. like a great guy. He's, you know, he's an outlaw with diabetes. Need to check his glucose. In this See. plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. 
Bring me the tr What the fuck? That wasn't the deal! Old man, I have altered the deal! Before you don't alter it any further. This guy's confirmed Darth Vader. I can't believe, you know, it was also Santa Claus. I can't believe Santa Claus, Darth Vader lied to me. <laughs> Hopper Pond. There's, you should recognize the cave where you got woke. Travel instantly. It's fast travel. As long as there's not enemies nearby or something. Why do I need a glider if I can just, you know, instantaneously teleport? I heard of it long ago, this instant transmission. That wasn't, that wasn't the deal, old man. Good. Stab him right in the crotch. See if you can magnet his pants off. It's a sunny... It's a sunny 64 degrees here at 4.50 p.m. in the Great Plains of Iroll. What do you think of that? Huh? Okay, that's good. Dr. Socrates. Verticality. That's an awesome word. Hello. How you doing? It's, at some point, I should pick this up so I don't get out of the loop. Yeah. So now, uh, am I able to use like amiibos and other stuff, or you still got more stuff to do? Can you get that chest? Uh, I'm not a Zora. I don't have iron boots. I don't know how. <sighs> Use magnetism. Magnets? How do they work? Okay, I guess it uh, can. Uh, oh. Use, use the right button. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted. That's definitely what you wanted. I'm gonna drop this on that fucker too. Oh. Whoa! Uh, I, I don't know, we just. We just started this game pretty much, so we're still learning it. What? <laughs> you dropped the chest like so stupidly, and you still got the thing out of it. So, are we supposed to go to like the other shrines that he wanted us to go to? It says something about that tower. I mean, maybe we're checking out Link's booty. I don't know, but you no. Know, the the old man said he was going to give us a sailcloth if we beat one shrine, and then we did that. And he was like, "Oh, you have to beat three more. Or I won't give it to you." So clearly, we hate his lying ass. Travel like six feet. Whoa. Warp to tower. Where did you warp to? The I tower? Warped, uh, not the tower. Oh, God. I didn't know it was a loading zone. Okay, maybe. Uh, <laughs> this is the tower. <laughs> Why is he here? Because he's good. <clears throat> did he also warp? <clears throat> is this guy just everywhere? Is he a hologram? Did he just say you certainly took your time? Did you forget how to travel instantly? What the hell is wrong with this guy? Just being a dick. You put a pin in it. Put a pin in it. Ooh. How do you know? In the wild? I bet your breath of the wild stinks of halitosis. <clears throat> Resurrection. 
Okay, so that's that tower then. Why did it say rip? Is that like I died there? <laughs> that's great that it keeps track of that. I felt like an idiot. Ah, chronic halitosis. Dennis Hopper Pond. Uh, it's the Sheriff Hopper Pond. Use the scope. Did we get a scope? We don't know what the hell we're doing. Uh, we need a strategy guide for this. That's some big dubs. Crouching in the grassy field makes it harder for monsters to find you. And easier to take a peek. Remember this place? This is where you got woke. Apparently. Okay, so that's... Uh, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> I don't even want to know about shrimp cocktail. Chat wants you to scope out his ass. So this is, oh yeah, this is the scope. Okay, got it. Yeah, the um, right stick if you push it. And... You can climb down from there. Well, there's he's still at his uh, little campsite. This guy's everywhere. At once. I don't trust this guy. I need a pot so I can cook some apples and kick the shit out of them. Oh, there's a fire over there. Alright, go back up to the tower. I should be investigating that fire. Now your molecules are all fucked up. Oh. Fire. You can unequip the burning item and then it just goes into your pants and you know somehow puts out the fire. Unless you're a liar. Well, that guy's a liar, we know that. So we're supposed to look with the scope from somewhere. What's that thing? Anything? Beat me up, Zelda. Is there a zoom in? Okay, what's that blue thing? Is that the shrine that you did, or is that a different shrine? Um, I don't know. It might be the shrine that we did already, so... That's the one you did. So you gotta look for other shrines nearby. They should just be there, so fucking keep looking. They should look all nice like that, too. Is he looking out at one, maybe? That guy's a dick. I don't trust him. <coughs> Easy there. Something on fire over there, it looks like. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ramus is doing great. <clears throat> Come a rip. Give me the fucking controller. All right. For some reason, I want A to be B and B to be A, and X to be Y. That's how they get you with fucking games like this. All right, now I'm playing for the first time, so I don't know any of the controls. X is jump. <coughs> That's what does B do? That's usually like cancel and stuff, and A is like activate stuff, but uh, Y is attack. And then um, hit, hit the minus because that's your uh, that, and then go to the tower, which is there. Uh, where I rest in peace. And then hit A to travel to it. Yeah. Is there any way to change the controls? I'm asking the song. Monsters need their beauty rest too. Did you know that? Hmm. <laughs> Talk about three more. Friends 
waiting for a line the line for the haunted mansion. Okay, now what is the scope? The um, right stick. Push it. Can't use turn on this. Okay. So I see this thing. Is that a shrine? I see this thing. Okay, maybe that's another one. This is another shrine, perhaps. So do that. Right now, we we're using the Joy Cons in that thing that makes them into one controller thing, and it's sort of gyro, but it doesn't work very well. Okay, now. Okay, both of those things are marked. Now he said there were three, I think. And I think the one we did is over, over there. there. That's the one we did. Um, is that something that way or well, too this, far? But those things are like weird orange lines. But like I don't below know what they that, are. I thought that like that. Uh, that looks like it could be something. Mm. Say he. Now, I'm guessing I can't fast travel to those pins. I have to walk over there. You could fast travel to the one we're, we're at if you don't want to fall down the thing like I do. You mean we should use the Joy-Cons? Uh, should we just use the Joy-Cons separately handheld without the thing? But equal. I thought Song also said something about there being stairs to get down here easily. I don't see anything except this. It's a button marked down. And I'm dead. I do not like this tower. Things still marked, I hope. Uh, hit the minus button. I don't think they are. Uh, let's back to that. Jesus Christ. That guy, you know, would fucking give it to us like he, you know, said he would. Hmm. Fucking lying asshole. Apparently, this is save more. So there's one there. All right, so fucking screw this. Where is it? To so there. Mark. Mark. Edit pins. How do I edit them? Uh, you need to zoom in a little more, I think. I'm all the way zoomed in. Maybe back out then. I want to get rid of this. Okay, next, how do I warp? Minus, okay. This is the place. Where can I warp? Can I warp anywhere? You can warp that one. I think that's the one we did. 
did already. It's literally the only fucking place on this entire map I can warp to besides the tower. there too. So why can't it work to the Temple of Time? Uh, fire and ice? <sighs> Probably. Hey, wizard. Hey, wizard. My friend is in Florida right now. Nobody cares about your friend, okay? Which way is the exit? This that way? way yeah. right, what's run? Uh, I think it's that one. Was this better on the Wii U? Something tells me no. Let's warp uh, the middle of the bridge back. Looks like there's something in that uh, little hole there. How's that gonna help me get across here? I think she wants me to shoot that guy. Now you hit the. It's already equipped. You hit the R button. Uh, the um. The R button, the thinner one. That one. That's what I did. It's doing this. Okay. Hey. Maybe 
go in the start menu and uh, God, there you go. don't know how. Yeah, never mind. I ain't playing this game anymore.
even think you're supposed to be fighting these guys. weapons. <laughs> Crouch. I think the other guy hit them, or maybe like a one of my arrows did. Because they love to design games where the crouch button is the same as the run button. Which is incredibly fucking stupid. push the stick to run, and you push it down to crouch, and it's impossible not to accidentally push it. He's, he's dead. It. 
save. Go to the damn shrine if you can. Okay. Saved your death, which is great. to avoid that so one do you know things stop instant killing you it's pants you don't go anywhere near that fucking thing and go somewhere else to get to the fucking marker. Do I 
my song. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. All set and fires. And it doesn't even seem like it's been an hour. <clears throat> no, it doesn't. Jabuji. She could jar boogie. Bombs. Oh, bomb trial. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to get bombs here. I wonder if I'm going to bomb this. These bombs are useful. Just put some vodka in it. Well, remote bombs. It still slowly generates health, though, right? thinking the uh, ZR should be R. or something. <laughs> Like, I'm trying really hard not to fucking hate this game, but I can't. Who, who the fuck decided to make square and round bombs? Whoever made this game has never played a Zelda game in their life. Or they were really trying to say, you know what? Fuck every Zelda game that ever happened. None of those ever happened. Let's just design a Skyrim game and call it Zelda. Like, I'm fucking sorry. I'm not sorry. I'd already rather play Skyward Sword than this. I've really tried to get used to the Switch Joy-Cons, and I honestly can't. Like, they're just not good. I hate the fucking buttons. Okay. 
don't even know how to get them out of this thing, so I'm just going with the flow here. I don't even know what's going on, I don't care anymore. some heart pieces. I mean, I really don't like how the, the crouching is not just a button. Like in uh, Dead Rising, the hitting the like directional button basically like had you do like a dive. <laughs> Activate or be dead. Let's just run right up to it and find out and then die because you haven't saved. to the fucking tower. We've got two more fucking things to find. just took the Joy-Cons out of the thing and is now using the Joy-Cons by themselves and she put, Rentmus put the, whatever you call that, switch thing that holds the Joy-Cons together on the floor and Sadie came over and started sniffing it. Actually, doing those shrines didn't take very long. If we could just find the damn shrines, that's like the first hard part, and then getting to them takes fucking forever. No one's half the battle. Let's start looking up a walkthrough.
save in case I die. Third shrine should be somewhere in the southwest. Would that be it? I, I picked that one, but where's the? Is that the last one then? Fourth shrine, I just don't know where it is. And maybe like fruit stuff comes back, but it takes a while. Let's see. She wants stuff, so she needs some cheese. is talking about finding a house somewhere near the shrine I guess where you get a whole bunch of stuff and cooking food and old man and this there or the other and it's like I don't fucking know. By the way Song says we're actually doing great and she died way more than us. It says it took her weeks to learn the buttons. I think if you make a game and it takes you weeks to learn the buttons, I think that they maybe designed the game poorly for the controller. Because, I mean, you may not be good at Zelda 1 when you're just thrown into it, but I think you should be able to figure out the controller in about two seconds. Uh, like, if those controls were much simpler and you didn't have to worry about your sword breaking... Uh, you didn't have to worry about, you know, connecting your tablet to the Sheikah internet, because, you know, millennials wouldn't play this game if it didn't have that. Whoa. Okay, was I supposed to be up there and I'm not? Or... Oh. I didn't, you know, take into account, you know, the topography or whatever. 
It looks like there's some stuff over here. Yeah, like that's simple is better. I mean, even Ocarina of Time had way more buttons, so you could figure that out. Like, did I did I ever have this kind of problem in Twilight Princess? No. Wow, it looks like he's pissed at that. <sighs> okay, apparently I threw it to the wind. <laughs> Um, <laughs> some of you guys re might remember a couple months back I was uh, playing the game Horizon Chase Turbo, that racing game well, Quack I've been, I've been playing that game off stream because there were some really long races I had to do and I, was, I, I knew that I was going to unlock on, I can't hear myself over this goddamn game I was doing this really long series of races, and I knew that I was going to unlock a new vehicle, and I was hoping it was going to be a good vehicle. And I finally did it, and I unlocked the vehicle. And you know what it was? It was crazy. It was two motorcycles with Jean-Claude Van Damme doing the splits between two motorcycles that he's somehow driving with his feet. And it's wider than a normal car. So I'm driving this thing and I'm like, this is proving that wider is not better because I'm crashing into cars because this is wider than a normal car. And yes, Lizard, I did. Like, I maybe maybe I can find a picture of it. Uh, Google hanging Tostitos. Yeah, here it is. It, it should even have a quote if if I could fucking read this. Let's see. That picture's too small. I need to find a larger picture that you can actually fucking see. Here we go. It's for some reason the the car or whatever it is is called Francois and the subtitle is The Muscles from Brussels. Which, of course, refers to Jean-Claude Van Damme. <sighs> Look at this, Ratmus. This is crazy. It has really good top speed and acceleration, but it's handling fuel and nitro aren't as good as the Machina car. I think I just burned all those things. Good job. And I did some bird imitations. That's all you do? Bird imitations? Heaven hate will die. DK hates the doors for some reason. So I, you know, I want to know like the reasons for giving that man a ride or make him die or whatever. some pump we still have like an hour left in the stream but you know before anyone gets disgusted and leaves you know let me talk about the future the future conan you're 3000 well, you don't care <coughs> next wednesday i will be flying on a plane to virginia to visit song I will not be coming back from that until Monday, February 24th. They're going to say until they bring back the Arch Deluxe. I will not be coming back until they bring back the Arch Deluxe, goddammit. Yeah, like they'll ever do that. So the point is that the next Rockman and Ratmus stream is going to be four weeks from well, today. I was going to say I was going to come here on Tuesday, 
Like Tuesday. Yeah, I just come on Tuesday and you know get stream one more time before you go. Why would you want to do that? Because it'd be fun. Is it going to be a twelve-hour stream? No. Talk about that when you get back. Oh. Um. I remember liking the Arch Deluxe. What the? Was poison water? I guess it was too cold. Dear God. Um, okay, well, Ratmus is now telling me that maybe he's going to come over on Thursday for the next Rockman and Ratmus stream. So then I, I guess we don't need to worry about, you know, getting out of this tutorial mode then quickly because, you know, I wanted to do that before song. Yeah, that, that's like that's another good reason to. Okay. I, yeah, I hear you. About the shrinkage. <laughs> Okay, well, apparently I'm just being now told that Tuesday is going to be a Rockman and Ratmus stream of continuing this wonderful nonsense. Then I'll be on a flight. Then the next stream after that will be, like, your spicy peppers, you bitches. late February. Or, you know. I, okay, so I'm coming back the 20th. Uh, what are you and, and Sadie and your girlfriend doing for Sadie's birthday? Anything? Probably get her a nice cake. Well, it's like, why don't you come over here on Sadie's birthday and do a 12-hour stream? Somehow I don't think you want to do that. But then, when are we going out for my birthday? Oh my God. There's just so many damn, like, question, like questions. I want Ratmus to do a 12-hour stream. February 29th is Sadie's birthday. When's your girlfriend's birthday? Hers is the 8th. March 8th. My birthday is March 3rd. So, I don't know. So, never mind. I don't have any fuck. When I go visit Song, we're gonna be streaming stuff. What are we gonna be streaming? I don't know. I, th I think she's gonna be, she's gonna be playing this game and maybe teach me how to play it better, if that's even possible. I don't know what else we're gonna do. Um, however, the other thing is, you guys better be here tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Central because it's going to be amazing. It's going to be the first time that Rock and Doom play Fortune Street against each other for the first time ever over Wii Online. You thought the Wii Online is dead. Well, it is dead, but we modded the Wii. Rock, Doom, Online, Fortune Street, Friday, 10 p.m., and then, and then this Saturday, 10 p.m. is Fish Waffle's birthday. We'll be doing a special Link to the Past randomizer for her birthday. Will their friendship survive? I hope so. I guess I should uh, cook this. Spicy peppers. <laughs> Rabbit, you want to talk about your spicy General Tso's chicken you had for lunch? It's way too spicy. Did you put all these in your body? You can't fast travel either, I bet. Did you eat, like, the fucking peppers that you shouldn't have eaten? No. Oh, yeah, and we once we get the damn sailcloth and the game opens up, then we can probably use amiibos, which will drop stuff and help. <sighs> You're probably screwed, okay?
Rapus had breakfast with his girlfriend yesterday and it made the whole day suck. So, Lizard, how was uh, your breakfast with Companion? Did it make your whole day suck? Right, Rapmus? Yes. What did you eat? I had uh, pancakes. The pancakes were good. Was it a Walker Brothers Pancake House that Dad wanted you to go to? No. It's just like a pancake house that was named after the road it was on. So I asked Song, what the fuck is up with square and round bombs? And she said, so you can lay two bombs at once? So get laid. Yes, bitch. Just back up off the fucking cliff. I mean, are, are bomb are bomb arrows a separate thing that you have to pick up, like fire arrows, or can you combine the bombs and arrows? I don't know. that thing is still off even though I was, you know, it should have saved that with that thing down. This game makes no sense, clearly. I don't want to sit, I want to... like round bombs you know worked fine for every fucking game previous to this and now it's like oh we want to use round bombs well that's dumb they just roll away and kill you like what have a conversation. You said you didn't really care, care much for Arrow or Smallville. Uh, what's a TV show that you do like? And I mean like a regular TV show, not like K-pop on Netflix. Whoa, I was like, hey, you should sneak up on that frog and you somehow got him anyways. Bad. They shoot an arrow at me. Okay, good. Shoot more arrows, Egyptians. Others throw up rocks. Not that old fox. The bitcher. <laughs> that shit. That reminds me of something. Uh, it's on Netflix. I said no Netflix. Um, well, song is secretly here, probably with no audio. No, but um, you guys know about Indiana Beach, uh, which I've talked about many times. Oh, so yeah, Psych, you mentioned Psych. There used to be a long time ago, a restaurant at, at Indiana Beach called The Beecher. 
And so we used to, you know, because we were hilarious kids, we used to call it the bitcher. What? I, I still don't understand that. To like, I, I keep hearing some meme of toss a coin to your witcher, and I don't know what the hell it means, and I don't want to. Okay, that that's the Witcher is that show on Netflix that has Henry Cavill. Which okay, I click on, you know Henry Cavill. He's the guy that plays uh, Superman recently. Well, here's his full name. Song says, "Pick up the other enemy's weapon, the large stick, and beat the sucker." This this name makes him sound like he's like fucking royalty or something. Okay. Made no goddamn sense. Also, he Henry Cavill is younger than Ratmus. Fuck. He was born in Jersey. No, I don't mean New Jersey. I mean actual Jersey. In uh, is this in France or England? Wait, what? It's neither. It's an island between France and England. Was he really born there? Yeah, it's, it says he was born there. He was, he was born in a Jersey Mike's, Lizard says. Whoa. It's literally an island in the English Channel. It says it's not part of the United Kingdom. It has an international identity separate from the UK, but the UK is constitutionally responsible for its defense. It's also not part of the European Union, yet somehow it is also somehow a part of it sometimes. I mean, that's all Doom does, and Doom's not boring, right? Die, fat bastard. The song is screaming to use the sword. Or no, that he dropped a sword. There you go, Soldier's Broadsword. So, like, does does that mean that his nationality is, like, Jerseyan? He's literally Jerseyan? Jerseyan Mikes. Can he go to any Jersey Mikes and get free subs? Probably. And, uh... Okay, it, it says that, uh... He almost got the role of James Bond in Casino Royale, but instead it went to Daniel Craig. I don't know, SDK. In August 2014, he took part in the Ice Bucket Challenge, where he was soaked with six large buckets of water while wearing his full Superman costume, which, you know, somehow protected him from the cold. Yes. It says that um, he, as Superman, and Ben Affleck as Batman, won a Razzie Award for Worst Screen Combo, you know, for Batman versus Superman. It's just like, what the fuck? It's like, Bat you know, Ben Affleck, I understand. Like, I... I actually, I actually really liked Henry Cavill as Superman in the other movies, but yeah, I, I think that even, even his portrayal of Superman in Dawn of Justice was not good, which I don't think was his fault. I blame the writing more than him for that. Okay, Song says L target hold like Z target and press A and the shield will bash stuff away. Okay, and the lizards. Okay, so so like basically you can do a shield bash with the shield is what they're saying. Okay. You hold ZL to up the shield and press A and it will shield bash. You don't have to have five things to cook. <coughs> so 
sometimes two or three items is enough for your current health. Spicy sautéed peppers. That sounds good to me. Song hates them. He also dates women quite young. You mean Henry Cavill? Well, I mean, he's already younger than Ratmus to begin with. <laughs> great, great noises. Redfield in 1998. <laughs> we, we love it. <laughs> it's the best thing about this game so far, to be honest. Also refer it, the, the Wikipedia. Like I, I closed his Wikipedia. I thought I was done looking at Henry Cavill. Then, then I went and looked back. Wait to hear. Um, so it says he's an English actor, but we just we already know that he's Jersey and not English. He's from Jersey. He's from Old Jersey. Then, like in. Uh... Does it say anything? Like uh, how old is he? Well, he's thirty six. How old are you, Ratmus? Thirty seven. There you go. And Ramimi says that he dates 19 year olds. Ratmus, have you ever dated a 19 year old? No, I have not. I need to eat some. Uh... I mean, I'm dating a 30 year old. The temperature is getting dangerously low. Like, I think Song, I Song said something about needing hot food, I think. Yeah, which I obviously like I got cold resistance, so... Ooh, what's the... Ooh, what, what is this from? Okay, let's, uh, let's kill you. I'm glad, like that. I mean, I'm tr I'm desperately trying to be funny and, and talk about funny things. Alright, so because that's all messed up, is there an easy way to get past this? Or may, like, okay, there seems to be metal over here, and I wasn't looking at it. Song says, "Go to the highest peak you can for something good before the shrine." Is that the how? Is it? Um, well, you know. Take this better. <laughs> I don't know. You know how before Superman Returns, like the, the next Superman movie was in like development hell for like twenty years. Yeah. But it says at one point in like two thousand four. There was supposed to be a Superman film called Superman Flyby, and he was going to play Superman. But then obviously that changed, and then it later became Superman Returns. You know, of course, then there, at one point Nicolas Cage was going to be Superman, and at one point, like, Kevin Smith was going to direct it, and then somebody else was going to direct it, and, you know, it never happened until Superman Returns happened. I really wish like it would default on the save thing because then already have to save every 10 seconds. I wish a lot of things would default, okay? Okay, I'll just, let's just... Okay, so climb to the highest peak, she said. That's, that that might be also true. Was it he once in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride? The answer is yes. He was in there a lot. Um, have you shot some birds? I don't think I have. 
It says like if uh, if you shoot some birds and get some raw drumsticks, yeah, you cooking. can com you can combine those with spicy peppers too. Um, too spicy for sick peppers. Or if you want to create the old man's recipe, you can head for the forest of spirits and hunt a wild boar for raw meat in one of the ponds for some fish. Oh, this sounds a lot of uh. There's an old man's house. Again, I've been playing so much Apex Legends. I don't think this is gonna work. It's like I, I would want to like try to use Octane's jump pad and climb up there. Oh, okay, I, I, I see now. It, it says you have cold resistance for like seven minutes. Why don't you just try to call, you know go somewhere else? It's clearly this ain't working. As I go back to you know talking about Henry Cavill because that's important. Because that's important in the stream. You need a oh song says you need a warmer shirt. That's what's on the highest peak. Okay. Uh, oh, almost there. Okay. So if if this is the shrine, then where's the higher peak with the shirt? Is that it? Like that direction? You don't actually need it, but you said before that, you know, don't be stupid and don't not get it. Don't be stupid. This should activate here to warp to. Okay, well, she's, she says on top of that peak, but do the shrine first. Okay. Do the roar. Be some dead monks in here. I can, you know, shield bash. What was it with the? Size doesn't matter. He was once engaged to British show jumper Ellen Whitaker. What the hell is a show jumper? Do you remember Robin Hood Men in Tights where um, like the sheriff goes to that guy that like is a uh, Marlon Brando like impersonator basically and he's like, you know, said, you know, or like, and I think the sheriff said something about him traveling from Jersey or he traveled from Jersey. I have seen Robin Hood Men in Tights. Song loves that movie and she had me watch it, um, but I don't really remember it very well, so no. Okay, uh, apparently a British show jumper means that you're, you do, you know, horse jumping. <sighs> Which, speaking of Superman, you know, almost killed Christopher Reeve. So, speaking of Superman, the song says that, you know, the whole point of this is, you know, using freeze breath. Did I get a power? I don't know. I guess I did. <sighs> okay. You're using your tablet to create those? For a second I thought you were just holding up your hand and using the force to create ice. But you know, using a tablet makes much more sense. No, I, I, I didn't mean that Superman almost killed Christopher Reeve. I, I meant horse riding almost killed Christopher Reeve. What oh, about horse fame? Uh, but being Superman did kill George Reeves, right? Or maybe it says there are also secret chests in these shrines, so... Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. 
you know, we, we definitely shouldn't be talking, you know, we shouldn't be making fun of or making light of people's death like, you know, Christopher Reeve or, you know, Kobe Bryant. Or, for I mean, or maybe we should, you know, maybe dark humor is good. No, Hitler should just stay dead. But Jor-El. Jor-El, you mean Marlon Brando that you were talking about? I mean, Russell Crowe. <laughs> you mean just Jor-El's death, the, fi the fictional character? Yes, That's what, that was hilarious. <laughs> you know, he invented Kryptonian PowerPoint. Oh, actually, I was going to ask earlier, if, Ramimi, have you ever watched the 1960s Batman show? I don't know, but it's it's funny because like I'm I'm I've watched it before and like now I'm trying to rewatch it. And like in the first season they established that the main villains are Catwoman, Riddler, Joker, and Penguin. Those are like the main villains and, and they're really good. But like after the first season they they kept having those villains over and over again and some of the actors like some of the actors asked for more money, like specifically Riddler, and they were like, No, we don't want to pay you more money. Or maybe, it, or maybe they just got sick of using some of them. So, like, in the second season, they just started inventing all these weird, stupid villains that make no sense. Like, Louis the Lilac, Shame, uh, Marsha, Queen of Diamonds. Like, people that, like, I don't even know if they're in the fucking comics. <laughs> it's, it's... It's, it's sometimes very difficult to watch these, like, shitty villains that make no sense. Like, Batman is scared of a cowboy who, like, you know, he's like, oh my god, this this cowboy is such a dangerous criminal that, you know, we have to call Batman. So up here? Charles should stay dead like Krypton. Oh my god, too soon. Anyways, that's my comment on me rewatching Batman. And apparently, like, most of the weird Batman villains that they invented like that were in one episode of Batman the Brave and the Bold. <laughs> Which maybe Romini saw. Probably some asshole Romini, so, uh... <sighs> Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Who the hell is Mr. Chips and why do we care? Her son is Jarrell's brother from another mother. According to Wikipedia, Henry Cavill resides in South Kensington, London with his pet uh, American Akita, which is a large breed of dog, who's named Cal. Whoa. He was also named one of GQ's 50 best-dressed British men in 2012. Except he's from Jersey. Digimon. Digital monsters slowly eat your balls. Uh, do you have any remorse for murdering all those old Sheikah? No, I bear you no remorse. Get up there. This is like climbing Mount Everest. Yes, it is. Of course, it's this fuck nugget. How did he get up here? Tenacity. You actually like, gave me something, you jackass. Wow, I'm I'm shocked that this asshole actually gave us something and didn't go back on his word. Okay, so what? We still need one more shrine. Okay, I'm in the south area. Um. Button. Now you don't have to rely on those peppers, Song says. Uh, okay, um, in this walkthrough that I have open, this cryogenic shrine was actually the fourth one that it said. Okay. 
So oh. the third shrine uh, is called the Oadayim Shrine. Okay. Which has something to do with stasis. And it should be somewhere... I don't know, it should be somewhere around here too, because it also talked about the old man giving the warm doublet. Oh. Weird. Oh. Is this it? That looks like it's it. Oh. No, that's something else, apparently. Oh. Oh. She Oh, that's see. Song is playing this on Wii U, so anything that she shows me about the controls isn't going to help us much. <sighs> Can we not leave the stupid area or something? Too, or... Okay. I before I asked for help, Song said it's in the southern middle of the plateau. Is she talking about the next shrine? I'm not sure. Maybe. <laughs> okay, southern middle. Um, and probably gonna die. It's not the tall things. Still alive somehow. What if you could get a horse in this game? That'd be crazy. I'd be wanted in this place for banging them. Hey, remember the ice bucket challenge? <laughs> Song says, keep going, you may not see it now. So try to head towards the southern middle and okay. is your tracker going off? I think dad briefly told me something about some email like, oh, you should get a job as a census taker. Yeah, I got that too, because uh, I love talking to people and I don't want to have to be bothered. Um, I, I remember, I, I don't know how, it, was, it must have been like 25 years ago, Lizard, Christopher Walken was hosting Saturday Night Live and they did a funny sketch where this, you know, a census taker knocks on his door and starts asking Christopher Walken questions like, you know, how many people live in this house, blah, blah, blah. And he's just, he's just playing this insane character who's giving like insane answers that make no sense. And it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> like, what did he say? Like, he's, he said like, he's an unemployed circus performer who lives in the apartment. Performer with a bobcat. He lives in the apartment with a bobcat. <laughs> And, and like he works, works like hours a week he works something. eighty hours a week as a street performer. Or yeah. Something. You say it like that, my life sounds pretty damn good. Sadie says, "Stop the string, I'm home." Well, Sadie can just you know freaking wait. Maybe you know I might have a clip of it somewhere. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. All right, Lizard says only one shrine is in the snow area. Okay, so it's not in the snow area. How much of this game have you played, Lizard? All right, let me go over this again, then. You are a convicted criminal living alone oh, in an apartment with a bobcat. And you work 56 hours a week as a street performer. When you say it like that, my life sounds pretty damn good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm, I think that clip is small enough that I can put it in the Discord. I'll put it in the Discord for you guys. You guys can... You know, go fuck yourselves. Yeah, cool. 
Come on. So this is the last shrine. Then become one of those Shriner guys. And this, this is this is the last shrine to get the flying thing, hopefully, and advance the plot, I think, yes. <sighs> Sadie's done a lot of things that are wrong, okay? <clears throat> She's got the hunger in her. Lizard beat it once, then for three weeks tried to collect all the collectibles until his friends decided to quit. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I, <laughs> I make no guarantees whatsoever that, you know, me and Ravnus are ever going to 100% this game, get all the collectibles, or even complete this. I don't know. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay, so what, what's the last one that we're missing, though, if this is the last shrine of the tutorial? Seems like we're missing something. Maybe that's the, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's the thing you'll get. You can stop time. This is craziness. Are you the hero of time now? I'm the captain and the game master, clearly. So when you do that, you need to go pause. Dude! Yes, run, and by that I mean crouch. Do, 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 do. <sighs> hammer, do we have a hammer? I, I think I heard some fan theory that Get get the hammer on the wall behind you. Apparently, you missed it or something. <clears throat> but I I heard some fan theory that like you know all the Zelda timelines that we know, it's like then Hyrule Warriors happened and it was basically like the crisis on infinite Hyrules and you know somehow Hyrule Warriors collapsed like all the Zelda timelines into one. So now Breath of the Wild takes place after that. So like this is one Hyrule. You know this is Hyrule. Prime, and you know all the previous timelines, you know, have been merged and happened somehow. <sighs> did, did Lizard invent that theory? I, I, that's interesting how it made it look like he was being stopped by chains. Okay, maybe you're supposed to be using the hammer to break those things. But then again, we don't want to like. We don't want to, like, break this wonderful hammer that you just got. The Traveler's Shield. Travelator later. The Travelator is the Great Equalizer. Dead monk. It's, it's like it's it's kind of crazy to me how short these shrines are compared to like how much time we spend like you know fucking around in the overworld. Like frankly, I'd rather be doing the shrines. Which is, I guess that's good because Song really likes fucking around in the overworld and she doesn't want to do any dungeons. I think I hate fucking around in this overworld, and I'd rather do dungeons. <sighs> so you're in a perfect match. <sighs> oh, let's see. Oh. 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 old bastard. Oh. You everything. I'm your father. But first, look at my ass. <sighs> look at your father's ass. Now, do you understand? He, he fucking teleported. When I tell you, he's a fucking hologram. 
So the two lines where that intersects or something? Is that like the Temple of Time he's at? Fuck if I know. Resurrection. Okay. Alright, good. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> what? See, th this is where Ratmus references a TV show that you guys have never seen. One of my favorite shows of all time, Space Above and Beyond, where someone says, You! Grab his ass! You mean one of the stars of the hit game Double Switch? Yes. Arlie and Marie come a rip. So many people from that game are dead. I call that tunnel vision or something. I would puke on a draft. Wait, no! Wait, no! <sighs> Do not puke on my giraffe. Oh god, Lizard fucked up the commands. What command were you looking for? Oh, you know, hand Bon Jovi, I believe. Oh, like, I don't like this. Hylian Trousers? <laughs> What's a Hylian Trouser snake? <sighs> so it's gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna show you this wonderful blue ray I got here. Oh, you scared to see See this wonderful DVD that Quack sent for three ninety nine? Whoa! The Rules of Attract Attraction, what? starring such wonderful Whoa. people as James Vanderbeek, Big Van Der Tank, and Ian Whoa. Somerhalder. Whoa. Oh, did you make it? You you made a Lizard Con five, but you forgot the damn exclamation point. You'll need to fix that. This is clearly the spot, so. It's good that there's six people on the cover of this, and it's like, yes, I know Jessica Beale. Yes, I know James Vanderbeek. You know, I know Boone from Lost. I know Kate Bosworth from fucking Superman Returns. But then it's like the other two people I don't know. Oh, there's some gas. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll? What more could you want in a movie, says Time Magazine. A plot. <laughs> a, a lot of things, probably. Praise the goddess. Also, I, I, I don't even remember the context. The context of I gave gold for America's ass. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. I want uh, her container. <clears throat> now will you still be one shotted? Peace and walls. What are you doing, son? Are you praising Jesus? Mm -hmm. God bless America. God bless America's ass. Up here, yeah. There is a ladder on the eastern exterior wall. And when you get to him, you'll finally be given the paraglider, which will enable you to leave the Great Plateau into the wider world below. And your next quest will be to seek out Impa. I, I still think, like... Yeah, it's like, apparently, like, if you're at full health, you won't get one-shotted. But if you're not at full health, you could get one-shotted. So just keep your health at full at all times. Who thought that was a good idea? I don't know. I'm sure it wasn't Mia Hawn. I don't think that's one of his hobbies. I think yeah, it, one -shot it, it must have been somebody else. You should play Snake Eater during this. Let's see. 
All right, we, we are almost done with this. Obviously, once we get all the cutscenes and get this thingy, we, we will be ending for today. It is a beautiful 6.55 a.m., 7 a.m. here in Hyrule on the top of this roof. It is a balmy 64 degrees Fahrenheit, of course. And are you my father? <laughs> Well, done, Good Father Christmas. Christmas. Now then, <sighs> the, the time. Has this guy is an asshole and treats you like shit. So yes, he is your father. I was King Rome Bus for ex ex Excuse me. Rome You hold on, sir. I I know Daphnis Hubba Bubba Hyrule, and you you sir are no Daphnis Hubba Bubba Hyrule. He was a friend of you know, a boat friend of mine. King, King Rohan? Isn't that some guy from Lord of the Rings? The Great Calamity was merciless. What happens if you Death take that Triforce off his belt and his time. pants fall down, right? Yes. A century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. Oh my me. god, this guy is, this guy is Santa Claus, the King of Hyrule, and a complete fucking asshole all rolled into one. I did not your eyes to you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, rather than just lock you up for you know seven years, we're like, how about an even hundo? Who does the voice of this guy? Because I hate it. I should be you know Idris Elba. Ready to hear what happened one hundred years ago. Sadie can't wait to hear what happened hundred years ago. I just want food and a poop. To know calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom. But his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. You can just go and fight him right Ganon now, too. Would pass from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. Fairies and bottles. And Calamity Jane. Prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear. And the power to oppose it lies dormant. Talking like we Iron decided War or to heed the prophecy large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient lands. We found these train tracks that you know go between towers for some reason, but you know those are stupid, so we ripped them out. Yes. These we ripped them out and fucking burned them to shit. We burned a bunch of metal train tracks, bent them into a big fu. An army of mechanical soldiers who fought. Well, fuck with Manus and other shit. This coincided with ancient legends. Ancient legends of a camel elephant. Yes. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power. We also learned how to yodel. Knight chosen by we learned how to yodel swag it. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. Mom. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled knights mm, from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine duty. beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions. These wonderful amiibos you could buy for just, you know, thirteen ninety nine or some shit. The princess, her appointed knight, and the Whatever rest you heard of the was either my chair or Sadie. Away, it was my chair or my balls. But nay. <laughs> Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Let him speak it. He activated these machines that can fucking one-shot us. We have got lit AM. The below Hyrule Castle. Seize control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Turn them against us. The chance like Obi-Wan turned to Padme against Dan Ken, right? It's exactly like that, yes. Laser beams and robot beams everywhere. The kingdom of Hyrule. Laser beams and robots, you know, typical Zelda games. Yeah. Form and Voltron. Highly, I like Hylia. 
Sadie is so up and done with this shit. Are you done with that shit, Sadie? Face Ganon, alone. Alone. Don't let her go upstairs. Don't bother her, oh, Mom. All right, Sadie. The fate of time is oh, okay. Go escape. Sadie's escaping. So you can't close the door is the problem. Princess was my own daughter. Whoa, what? Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. Oh, spoilers. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. You got to YOLO yourself. You were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand. So, has Ganon been screwing the world over for a hundred years? Yeah, way worse than seven. After like seven, he got bored. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself. And nothing will stop him from Zelda somehow stopping him or something. I guess. that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no I right to ask them. You're, you're, you're damn right. You have no right to ask this of me, especially after you pulled that shit with the you know changing the deal. And the DLC bastard. My daughter. And do whatever it takes to Can I mate with your daughter? Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over. Spoilers, I'm gonna do it anyway. As well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless to lead directly to the castle at this point. I am the Hyrule Jesus. I suggest. But you can just you beat the game right after now. To one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road now to Kakariko Village. Kakariko Village, you say? Find the elder Impa. Impa. Impa, you say? Wow. It's, it's almost like this is a Zelda game. Consult the map on your Consult the map for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Download I've, some maps. I've, I've downloaded the Kakariko Village map to your PDF from there, <laughs> with GPS north. and other things that don't exist in Hyrule but exist in 2020 America. Take the paraglider. Just as I promised, but then I changed the deal because I'm an asshole. I'm never going to forgive this guy, no matter how long this game lasts or what happens. I'm never forgiving this guy for lying about giving us the glider. You want Link to bang his daughter while he's there helpless, right? Yeah, I mean, he is a helpless ghost. Zelda is your dot dot dot. Main quest, destroy Ganon. Okay, let's go kill Ganon. We're going to kill Ganny, everybody. Seek out Impa, everybody. Save the game, everybody. Yeah, he said that he would give us the glider if we did one shrine. Then we did one shrine, and he's like, ha 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 ha, I lied, you have to do four shrines, then I'll give you the glider, maybe. Then you have to climb this shit. Then you have to let me talk to you, bore you to death with my stupid life story. And it's basically like Darth Vader on Cloud City. Okay, um, so I saved, so that's it. <sighs> that's it, apparently. Hey, Gar, you fucking Blandio. The Mangar of all people, how you doing? Nice that you were here the whole time, Mimi. Alright, I'll take Sadie up and out. And all that. So, bye everyone.
All right, so yeah, that was uh, Rockman and Rat Mess play Breath of the Wild Part 1. Um, all right, by song. Um, so apparently Ratmus is going to come over Tuesday afternoon to play some more of this. Um, my next stream, again, is 10 p.m. Central tomorrow. Very special Rock vs. Doom Fortune Street. There's no one to raid. That's the end of the stream. Bye, everyone. The end.